Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at a monstrous gaming laptop known as the HP Omen 17. In my opinion, this could definitely replace a desktop PC because this is actually powered by the new Intel Alder Lake i7-12700H and it's backed up by an NVIDIA RTX 3070 Ti. And oh yeah, the laptop itself is actually utilizing DDR5 RAM. It's running at 4800 megahertz, and with this one here, we've got 32 gigabytes. And real quick, I wanted to give you a look at this massive power brick that comes included with this unit. It's 330 watts. This is actually the largest power brick that I've seen with a laptop to date. And given the power that this thing can put out with that 12700H, that 3070 Ti, and a 17-inch display, we're probably going to need it. So I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these laptops for a little while now to do some testing on it, and Micro Center was kind enough to send this over for review. So this video is sponsored by Micro Center. I want to give them a big shout out for sending this over for review. If you're not familiar with Micro Center and you're a tech enthusiast, then you really should be. They have real brick and mortar stores that you can walk into and put your hands on the product before you purchase it. They've got stores in California, Colorado, Georgia, Illinois, Kansas, Massachusetts, Maryland, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, New Jersey, New York, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Texas, and Virginia. So if you're interested in checking them out, I will leave a link to their website in the description. So yeah, this thing is absolutely massive, and in my opinion, this is a desktop replacement. I mean, this will do anything at 1440p Ultra. We're definitely going to be taking a look at some games. It's got a really nice, fully customizable RGB backlit keyboard. And when it comes to I.O., it's got all of the bases covered. Over here on the left-hand side, we've got a full-size USB 3.2 port, mini display port, full-size HDMI, Thunderbolt 4, 3.5 millimeter audio jack, and a full-size SD card reader. And moving over to the right-hand side, we've got two more USB 3.2 ports. And when it comes to the specs, we've got that Intel 12th Gen 12700H CPU with 14 cores and 20 threads. Now this has 6 performance cores at up to 4.7 GHz and 8 efficiency cores at up to 3.5. An NVIDIA RTX 3070 Ti with 8 GB of GDDR6 VRAM, 32 GB of DDR5 RAM running at 4800 MHz, and this is running in dual channel right out of the box. A 2 TB NVMe SSD, a 17.3 inch 165 Hz 1440p display that looks absolutely beautiful. Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2, and it's running Windows 11 Pro. So, you know, just taking a look at these specs here, we should see some really great performance when it comes to AAA gaming, and especially emulation. So the first thing I always like to do with these is run some benchmarks, so let's go ahead and take a look at those first. And the first one here is Geekbench 5, and when it comes to these Alder Lake i7s, we get some amazing single core performance. As you can see here, we scored a 1,750, and when it comes to multi, we've got a 12,228. Moving over to some GPU benchmarks with 3D Mark, here's Firestrike with a 26,619 and Time Spy with a very impressive 12,219. So when it comes to these benchmarks here, we're getting some amazing performance out of this thing, but these are synthetic benchmarks, and now it's time to move over to some real-world gaming and see what this thing can really do. So first up, we've got Forza Horizon 5 at 1440p, extreme settings, and I get an average of 88 FPS out of this, and I actually was expecting to have to drop it down to Ultra, even though we have that 3070 Ti, it's a laptop variant, but it does handle Extreme very well. MK11 is one of those games that's very well optimized. I get really good performance on this on lower end systems, so I figured we could go ahead and max this out at 1440p, and of course, as you can see, we're running at a constant 60. Next up, God of War 1440p Ultra Settings with no DLSS. Now, you can always get a little more out of it if you want to by turning DLSS on. And to tell you the truth, it still looks absolutely amazing, even if I was to set DLSS to performance. And with it set up like that, we can actually get an average of 95 FPS out of it. But I would just go ahead and turn VSync on at 60 and play this all day long at Ultra. Here's Elden Ring, Ultra, 1440p, running at 60, and going into this, I actually didn't know what to expect. This is a bit all over the place depending on the CPU and GPU combo you have, 
But with that 3070Ti laptop variant and that i7-12700H, you can definitely get some great performance out of it. And if you take a look at Afterburner, we're actually pulling close to 55 watts from that CPU with this game. Here's The Witcher 3. I know it's an older one, but it's still one of my favorite games. We're at 1440p, Ultra, and I do have Hairworks totally maxed out. That's one of the things that really kills these GPUs, especially the laptop variants. But with these RTX cards, I've been seeing some really good performance with Hairworks in this game. And the final PC game I wanted to test for this video was Cyberpunk 2077. So here it is with RTX set to Ultra. So we've got ray tracing set to Ultra at 1440p. Unfortunately, with this laptop variant of the 3070, we're just not going to get a steady 60 out of it like this. So let's go ahead and take it down to medium. So now ray tracing is at medium. We're still at 1440p. And even at medium, it's hard pressed to run it at a constant 60. So there's a couple things you could do here. You could just turn RTX completely off, or we could take RTX down to low, which still looks great, and get over 60 FPS out of it. We can actually average 67 FPS. But yeah, it works great like this. And again, you could always go ahead and turn RTX off down to ultra and still get a really good frame rate out of it. But it works like this on low and looks amazing. So obviously this thing is going to put out some really great emulation performance and one thing I did want to show you here was PS3 running using RPCS3. I'm at 4K even though we have a 1440p display and we're only pulling 9% from that 3070 Ti. So connected over HDMI or display port to a 4K display you can definitely run this just fine. And one of the big reasons I wanted to show this emulator and game off is because it really taxes that CPU. If you take a look at Afterburner, this pulls up to 90 watts on that i7-12700H. And these are the highest temperatures I saw out of the CPU. And, you know, I kind of expected it to go up this high, pulling around 90 watts in a laptop. And when it comes to other high-end emulation, this thing is going to handle PS2 at 4K. You can do SimU at 4K. You can do Switch at 4K. Now, with Switch using Yuzu, some of the games might need to be dropped down to 1440p. But overall, this will perform absolutely amazingly with emulation, basically anything you throw at it. So as you saw, this thing is an absolute monster when it comes to AAA gaming and high-end emulation, and I expected it to be. It does have a hefty price tag, but this is definitely a premium laptop, and in my opinion, it is a desktop replacement. So like I mentioned, this video is sponsored by Micro Center, and I want to give them another big shout out. And if you're a new customer, they actually have a coupon right now over on their website. I'll leave a link for it in the description. But this is a coupon for $25 off any processor in store. And basically what you're going to do is fill out the coupon form online. You'll get the coupon and you can go in store, pick out any CPU from the shelf and get $25 off. So if you're interested in this, link will be in the description. So yeah, if you're interested in learning more about this laptop, I will leave a link in the description. And one thing I'd actually like to do with this is install Linux on it just to see how it performs. So I'd actually like to know if you guys would be interested in seeing something like that. And if so, what distro would you like to see running on this unit? But that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.